if you're anything like me, you have noticed how much fabric has gone up in price. Oh my goodness. It keeps going up, but I still want to sew. So what I'm going to do today is share with you five unexpected places that you can buy fabric on a budget. So let me start going through the list for you. First, did you know that Dollar Tree started selling fabric? They actually have a pretty sizable craft selection now. They have some fat quarter bundles and some 2.5 inch strip bundles. Now I'm still on the fence about how not everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar now. These bundles go for $5, but they're still a pretty good value. These are especially a great value if you're just starting out with sewing and you're wanting to perfect that quarter inch seam or things like that. But you know, they actually are pretty decent feeling fabrics. I don't think they're a particularly awful quality or anything like that. They're just very limited on patterns, colors, and things like that. But it's worth checking out and seeing what they have from time to time. And let me tell you, I don't think that's the only thing you'll find there that you could possibly sew with. I did find some lovely jute there. So their jute they call Crafter Square, and they're about the size of a fat quarter though. They, they measure 18 by 21 inches. And the fun thing is, is that they definitely come with seasonal patterns on them. So I found a couple there and these were priced at a dollar. So cute. Now I'm going to show you some crafts that I'm going to be making with these in an upcoming video. So if you're interested in seeing what I make with these different jute fabrics, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification because you won't want to miss out on it. All right, so we went to the Dollar Tree and now we're going to go to a thrift shop. Now the thrift shop I chose to go to is Goodwill because that is what is local and close to me. When I go there, I often look for jeans, especially if they're having an even bigger deal on jeans because when I purchase jeans and when most people in my family purchase jeans, they're almost always blue jeans. So I am limited to colors like blue in different shades. So when you go to a thrift shop, other people may have different tastes than you and you can find some really fun jeans. So I found these that are gonna be so fun to add to a quilt. They are just so, it's they're gonna be fun to fussy cut. They have a lot more color on them and it'll really add interest to a quilt. And then I found some nice grays. And this gray, if I can incorporate the pocket into a quilt, it is really fun. It has a nice design on it. And then I found a pair of pink jeans that will really go great in the quilt that I use these on because it'll add a little bit more of the same colors to it. Jeans aren't the only thing you can find at a thrift store to sew with. You could also look and see if they have some nice quality sheets at a thrift store that don't have any stains or wear and tear on them because they would be a great backing fabric for a quilt. Sometimes I even find some fleece at a thrift shop and if it's a good quality or a color that won't stand out through <laughs> the front or back of my quilt, that could work really well in place of a batting. But I think a really fun thing to look for at a thrift shop is if you're wanting to get into making t-shirt quilts. You could define some great deals on some great graphic tees to practice that skill with and not spend a ton of money getting some graphic tees, especially if you don't already have some that you could practice that type of quilt with. Or maybe you just wanna make a t-shirt quilt with found graphic tees that you have that you could find at a thrift shop, that's fine too. Another thing to think about looking for is in the kids section, you could find t-shirts that have some of your kids or a grandkid or somebody that you want to make a quilt for their favorite character. Like this shirt here, I found a cute Spider-Man t-shirt. So if you collected those for a little kiddo that wanted a Spider-Man shirt or no shame, there may be some adults that still love those superheroes and would love one, but you could collect those and make a really nice quilt instead of trying to find those novelty fabrics or those licensed fabric that often cost so much more than just your typical yardage. 
So that'd be a nice way to save some money and make a quilt for someone who really likes those type of characters without really hitting your bank account. Licensed fabric is so expensive, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay, so for this next unexpected place to find fabric on a budget, stay with me here, okay? Don't come after me in the comments because I know local quilt shops are kind of more known for their more expensive fabric. And yes, if you go there, their fabric is not cheap. However, they always have sales. I make sure I'm on the mailing list for my my local fabric shops because I'll get an email to let me know when they are having a sale and that is when I like to go shop there. One of my local quilt shops will even send me a little email when I haven't been there in a while with a 20% off coupon just to go use. So I can definitely save money if I wait for those things to pop up there. Now, another thing to look for though at your local quilt shop is their little sale bins. You can often find fabric that is on sale. Maybe it's um, you know out of season or something like that. Whatever it is, you can on honestly find some good sales if you look around the shop. So at one of my local shops, I found this really beautiful two yard cut of fabric. It is gorgeous. And this two yard cut was only $15.59. So it was 40% off. That is a really good deal for a nice quality fabric that has a print on it. So I was really excited to find this. And you can also find remnant bins at these local quilt shops that are kind of the end of bolt fabrics that are priced really well too. I know it can be hard to get exactly what you're needing for a quilt, but sometimes it's worth taking a look there. I found a lot of solids at one of my local quilt shops that were all end of bolt that I know I can use in backgrounds. So I always grab those up because I know I'm going to need them at some point. Okay, so the next unexpected place that you can purchase fabric on a budget is this really awesome online quilt shop that I found. Oh my goodness, when I came across this shop, I was so excited because I really, really love their whole um, kind of motto. Is that what it would be called? I think so. <laughs> so right at the top of their page, it says, your online source for sustainable vintage dead stock fabric, secondhand fabric for thoughtful makers. I really love that because how many times have you purchased fabric that you really had the intention of using and then maybe it just doesn't suit your taste anymore or I mean it could be anything. It would be so much better if that fabric is being used by somebody who really loves it than just sitting around. So what this online shop does is it kind of resells that used fabric. I. I mean, I really love that. I really do. So this website is called a thriftynotion.com and you should definitely check it out. What they have on there is always changing because they're not really selling fabric, you know, off the bolt or something like that. So it's really what they have in and what um, people are trying to sell. So just take a look. So if you go into their shop area and click on for example, quilting fabrics, you'll see what they have right now under that heading. And often when I go in there and check, they always have like scrap bags for sale. And if you like to scrap quilt, that might be a fun way for you to get an assortment of fabrics, but they also have fat quarters for sale and 1.5 yard cuts and just all kinds of stuff. And it might be a fun way for you to look and see if a fabric that was a bit older that you missed out on purchasing might end up in there too you never know but i found their prices to be very reasonable and i think you will love it especially with their whole motto i really really like it i like the idea of fabric that isn't being used getting a new life so somebody can use it up in a project
Okay, so for this last unexpected place to buy fabric on a budget, you're really going to have to stay with me here. Stay with me. I promise it will make sense. Okay, go to your local hardware store. Okay, I just threw it out there. I said it, but stay with me. I love making tote bags for shopping, um, you know, having a reusable shopping bag. I really like making tote bags for... Um, putting gifts in so that they have a reusable bag. I love making them. Now, if you remember, I made a video showing a budget-friendly way to make tote bags using some fabric that I found at Walmart that I thought was a really great price. It was some canvas fabric and I was able to make, I think it was two tote bags out of it. So I'm going to put the video up here and in the description so that you can check it out. But I was saying this was like a budget friendly way to make some reusable tote bags for shopping or that are blanks if you want to put designs on them to um, make and sell, just all kinds of ideas for it. And then I came across some drop cloth that painters use and it's canvas. And these are huge, huge, huge six by nine and they have all different sizes of canvas and I thought why am I not using that for my tote bags because while the Walmart canvas works it is very thin this is some thick heavy duty canvas and you will definitely be able to make a lot of tote bags out of this at a even more budget friendly price than that Walmart canvas that is paper thin. You, oh my goodness, I could, my mind was blown when I saw this and thought of it. And how weird is it to be in a hardware store shopping and coming across something like this and thinking, I can make a bag out of that. But seriously, oh my, I was excited. Now, something else that's fun too is this is kind of a cream color, but I did see that they have the exact same drop cloth and the exact same size for the exact same price in gray too. So that just really, I was so excited. And you can see I liked it enough that I bought it because I was like, I'm going to make some bags. And I was also thinking how cute would a, tote, a little tote bag be with this canvas and then a little accent of this butterfly fabric I found. I was excited, my mind was just going. Let me know what you think of it in the comments because I would love to hear from you. But seriously, I was so excited to come across that canvas because I really love making those um, tote bags to put gifts in and to shop with. All right. So those are my five unexpected places to buy fabric on a budget, but let me know in the comment which one you liked best, and let me know if I missed a place that you could buy some fabric on a budget. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!